Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys episode 5 of our Let's Play of Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator in the last episode, which was a while ago, and I want to go ahead and apologize for that, but you, as you guys know, we recently moved, and you know, we're all settled in now, so I can finally bring you guys more episodes of Dream Daddy, more episodes of Pokemon, more episodes of just games in general on the channel. I'm back for a little bit, and that's really, really good. We're back, and uh, you know, we're we're settling, in, settling into this new place, and it's like, it's, it's pretty okay, it's pretty okay. But anyways, we're back with some more Dream Daddy in the last episode. Uh, let's see, we found out that Amanda didn't make it to college. Uh, she got denied, and we were very, very mad about that. We met Craig. He drank some marinara sauce, apparently, and, you know, I was thinking, like, yo, I kind of want to drink some marinara sauce. And you guys were like, yo, Jay, you should totally drink some marinara sauce. So I'm just saying, stay, stay tuned on the channel, you guys. Keep on the lookout in your sub box for Jay drinking some marinara sauce just letting you guys know just letting you guys know just keep a lookout because it seems like a lot of people really want this to happen so it's gonna definitely happen okay you guys it's definitely gonna happen and we also met joseph as well and uh we were in the middle of meeting joseph but i decided to save joseph for this episode but i hope you guys do enjoy this episode if you guys do don't forget to hit the like button down below to show your support and if you want to see more dream daddy hit the like button as well and be sure to leave a comment down below uh, about the episode or just about dream daddy or you know just about your day or or whatever you want to leave a comment leave a comment down below and be sure to tweet me your dad sonos on twitter at jyt gamer to feature them in the next episode now this episode i don't think i have any dad sonos for you guys because i was in the middle of move, moving so if you tweeted me i totally didn't see it but i don't i don't think anybody tweeted me because usually i would save them the minute someone tweets me so i didn't have any saved so you know no dad sonas but we do have some comments to talk about so let's go ahead and talk about the comments from the last episode so we have our first comment here from liz aka kicking potatoes and the reason why i put this one up is not so much for her comment but more so for the reply because dj amphi came through with the most fire reply okay so liz says 20 to 30 minute episode uh blah, blah. the word episodes is not even in that sentence you see i'm adding words in and they're not even there 20 to 30 minute long videos are okay, and I tried dating Joseph, but he kind of dumped me at the end uh, at the end of the game. Guess I didn't make him love me enough, but Craig is really cute. I'm gonna try and date all the dads, okay? So she told me, I told her that, you know, the, the eggplant emojis are the best answer, and so she was like, oh, I guess I friend zoned myself. She friend, she friend zoned herself, and it was like, rippy dip dip but dj amphi here with the reply why date all the dads when you have the darkest daddy all to yourself that is a great reply dj amphi came through with the facts with the best facts the hardest of facts the firest of facts i thank you dj amphi for 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 letting her know letting her know let her know okay let her know and then we got afro rob ttg my friend rob my friend bert what is going on he says bro what's up bro because craig was like a like that dude bro he's like dude bro bro dude dude bro bro dude so so bro what's up bro and then we got mega pope i'm i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be mega pope but there's no e in the name someone get this man some marinara get me some marinara sauce you guys actually i have some um well i think it's like well it was in the pasta section like the pasta sauce section it was in the sauce section but it says classic marinara on it so i was like so i'm telling you guys just stay tuned on the channel it's gonna happen all right it's gonna happen this is a large jar i try to find something smaller but i i don't bro i'm gonna be sick I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna get sick or something. Something's gonna happen and it's not gonna be good, all right? It's definitely not gonna be a good thing, but stay tuned on the channel, you guys, for me drinking that marinara sauce because uh, I don't know why, I, I, I just like marinara sauce. But anyways, moving on, we got Tyler Matthews. Drink the sauce, Jay, drink it! With a bunch of exclamation points. I put so many exclamation points, that's how badly I want you to do it, smiley face. They really want me to do it. Tyler really, really wants me to do it. And then we got Johnny Legends here. JYT Gold Digger likes money. Of course I like money. Who doesn't like money? Well, I, I'm sure there are a few people out there that don't like money, but I love money. Money allows me to buy games, allows me to pay bills, allows me to buy games, allows me to buy cards, Pokemon cards, allows me to... 
uh, you know, buy very, very expensive stuff. And it, it allows me to be financially stable. And I like money. Who doesn't like money? I like money. And then we got Ella Bella. Jay, I can't wait for you to meet Daddy Robert. Now, I don't know who Robert is. We've only met Matt. Brian, Craig, and now Joseph, and we heard about Mr. Vega. So, we gotta figure out who in the world Robert is. We're gonna meet Robert, uh, maybe in this episode, maybe in the next episode. I have no idea, but we'll, we'll find out who Robert is, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find out who Robert is. So, we got Kathleen here. This is the series I've been most looking forward to this week. It's a fun thing to come home to when I get off of work. Hey, okay, I was, I was trying to read that sentence correctly. I still inserted a word that wasn't there, but it works though, it works, it works. P.S. Robert is my favorite dad in the game. Damien is a close, no wait, Damien in a close second. Also, please upload a video of you drinking marinara sauce. Everybody really, really wants that marinara sauce video. I'm just saying. It's gonna happen, okay, you guys? It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And then, the last comment we have here is uh, Lalini. I wanna see you drink the sauce. I think you should go with Craig. Hear Nate as a voice actor over, uh, as a voice actor over? What? That's not even the sentence! Holy crap! Hear Nate as a voice over would be awesome. Holy crap, dude. Seriously? How did the word actor even find its way into that sentence? Uh, and I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Hopefully, my reading skills with the game is better than my reading skills with the uh, with that. So, anyways, dad tip number eight. Okay, I couldn't read the dad tip because it just said whatever. Anyways, oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Jay. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd do the neighborly thing and bring you some bring you some oh yeah cookies right my daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself Joseph leans in and whispers but between you and me she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips <laughs> we both share a laugh kids right yeah. Amanda pokes her head out of her room and immediately hones in on the cookies Wow cookies huh so nice to meet you Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile well Thanks for the cookies. Oh, Amanda disappears with the cookies. Okay, Amanda. Oh. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. <laughs> That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Mm. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Mm. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there had to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Uh. I have four kids. What have you done? Ah, what have we done? Oh, uh, I meant, oh. don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. Is the missus around? Mr. Mr. actually, and uh, no, not anymore. He died. What? Bro? What? Dog. I'm sad now. I didn't. I did, but did. I'm sad now. You, you can't. I'm sad now. I'm sad. 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 Oh. Uh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow. This is this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph qui quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Ah, oh, wow, Jay, you can read that sentence correctly, but you can't read anything else. Damn, dude, what the hell's wrong with you? I don't know, man. <laughs> That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. 
I would never have four kids. I don't care. That's too many. That is too many. That's too many to keep up with. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll let you go to uh, I'll let you get to bed. See you at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Oh. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Of course you are. Of course you are. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Black don't crack. I'm telling you. Okay, black don't crack, you guys. Black does not crack. Hairlines might go backwards, which mine is going backwards like over here and oh, especially over here, you guys. Like it is a tragedy. And all this right here, man, it is just going backwards. But hey, my skin is looking pretty okay. If I shave my beard, I shave like a good three years off my age. It's okay. I'm 24 turning 25 in October, okay, you guys. I I think I still look pretty young. <laughs> and with that. Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Aww. They're gone, I'm sorry. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. <laughs> the Emma's helped. Right, well kiddo, I'm gonna go catch the game. Have fun, Dad. All right, so we're gonna go catch the game. Dad tip number, I can't read my dad tips. I'm trying to be a good dad here, whatever. Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. Whoa, bro, see, that's here's one thing about being a, a parent, okay, you guys? Whenever I get old, whenever I get older and I have children, I am gonna make sure that I do not fall behind the times and I keep up with the latest technology, okay? Because you don't wanna be that parent that does not know how to work their own dang on phone. Just saying. Anyways, so I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go, this way. That's not, that's not, okay. Cool, okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance, could it be? A big burned out neon sign hangs above the uh, above tiny dive bar. Wait, hold on, say that again? A big burned out neon sign hangs above tiny dive bar. Okay, uh, Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What it'll be? One beer, please. No! It's gross, bro. Get some Hawaiian punch or something or Kool-Aid jammers. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice cold beer. Gross. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. No, we don't. Why are you lying? Liar. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels and I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Hey. Hello, lady. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar since sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. I am... No. Oh, hello. Mm. Good to see... Huh? Hello, bro? Good to see fresh meat in here. 
bro what's she talking what's she talking about fresh meat bro what is is she like what okay hang on so this is the mary we're talking about and we just met joseph are they like i don't know what's happening here but i don't like the way she came up to me and said good to see fresh meat in here i don't like that i don't like that at all bro back up lady i don't even know you i, I don't even know you all right i don't i don't know you and you 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 not you not no you not no you not my, back up back up lady i'm mary come here often i literally just moved into town but okay oh no i actually just moved to this part of town today i'm jay by the way huh? are you watching the game yeah my preferred team is in the lead if they keep this up they'll win the game with ease hey, sailor. oh i love that team and i also love that game I love someone who knows their way around balls. Bro, who? Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> so, all right, so like, these jokes are definitely not going over my head. They, yo, okay. Good to see some fresh meat in here. Huh, I love someone who knows their way around balls. That's not, you don't say things like that to someone you just met. Is she trying to bang, dude? I think she's trying to bang. I don't want, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want this. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Probably, bro. You stay away. Stay away, Jay. Uh, mm. buy a gala drink. You don't need any more. You don't need any more. I don't care who she is. Uh, maybe some other time? Rest, buddy. Whoa, suit yourself, sailor. Wow, she looks a little angry. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar, uh, bar patron to enter. Man, I'm not dealing with her. I don't, uh-uh, no, all right. She came up to me and <laughs> was like, Good to see some fresh meat in here. I love someone who, no, no. We want dads, not Mary's, all right? I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. Dude, is it football, basketball, baseball? What is it? A little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! <gasps> hey, it's this guy! It's this guy! It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Hey! Enjoying the game? I am now. Uh, I am, I am now that we're winning. Hey! Oh. We must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Uh, quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response, and unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the, for the game. He motions the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Oh, this is Robert. Okay, this is Robert. Hey, Robert. How are you doing today, my guy? We finally know what your name is is okay thanks i'm jay hey you must be new here mary already hit on you boy you would not believe man yeah robert chuckles oh. she's a peach well you picked the best bar in town as slimy as it is you'll never find a better spot than jim and kim's is there actually a jim or kim that runs this place oh. no that'd be neil neil waves from across the bar <laughs> Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh, okay. Huh. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. No! Huh. You like shots? 
<laughs> oh, shots fired. I don't like him. Nah, let's say, yo, I feel like something bad will happen if we say we like it or love it, but I'm gonna say love it. That wasn't the right answer. Darn it. That wasn't the right answer. Okay, well, rippy dip. Okay, hang on, okay. Uh, Robert Nas Neal, who serves up two shots of whiskey, he hands one to me. I should have said I like him, or I should have said shots fired. Darn it. Well, well, why would someone ask if you like shots if they themselves don't like shots? You know, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay, so like, I, I should have said I like them, whatever. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey, who hands one to me. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down. Oh, ah! but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think it. I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Jay, this guy is out of my friend league, but I think if I put my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Uh, compliment his hand tattoo, his cool leather jacket, compliment his rugged good looks. Let's compliment his rugged good looks. Your face is good. That's not the right answer either. Thanks. Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Dang it, no! I was supposed to say something else. I should have said his jacket or hand tattoo. Man, man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Ah! Okay, what do we, <laughs> well, yeah, she did kick us out of the house, but that's the truthful answer. But do we go with it? Trying to make friends just sounds bad. Running from my problems, that doesn't sound good either, really, because we don't even have any problems. I'll just say my daughter kicked me out the house. Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Single dad, hmm. He gets up. Be right back, gotta powder my nose. Uh, never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha, huh, I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Okay, Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather, ja uh, leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You headed my way? Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Uh -huh. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? Me too, we just finished unpacking today. Oh. Great place to be, good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. Man, why is everybody in the same neighborhood conveniently, huh? We stop and he turns to me. This music, ooh. Mm. I don't kiss and tell, Jay. Mm. So, are we doing this or what? What? Hey. You know, do you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Holy moly! Uh. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I think this is a good time to wrap up this episode, and you guys let me know what in the world I should pick. Because, oh, this dude, I. I I that was that was fast. That was fast, dude. What? Why is he I don't I don't if I say I feel like if I say no, that's I, I don't know. I've been choosing all the wrong answers tonight. So I I Uh yeah. I don't know. That dude are we doing this or not? I good golly man. It's not even the we just met. <laughs> we just met, bro. You gotta stop. You... Which one should I choose, you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this episode, you wanna see more Dream Daddy here on the channel, hit that like button down below. Next time, we will we will choose something. Please, guys, don't make me go get banged, bro. Please, please. I, I don't I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. Whatever you guys want me to choose. I will choose it and we will go with it. But with that, I'm out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I did. I'm I'm flustered. You know, I am flustered. I I am 100% flustered.
flustered. I will see you guys in the next episode of Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. Peace.